This will be event Crimson Bears. number 96, Union the Men's BC. Masters A Final. San Diego Rolling Lane Club. one, Crimson Bears from San Francisco, Marine California. Lane two, Union Lions. Boat Club from Boston. Lane three, Attention. San Diego Rowing Club. Lane four, Marin Rowing Association. Go! Lane five, Ryan's Rowing Club. And here we go, we have a start. Clean start out of the blocks for all crews. Jumping to the early lead, lane one is the Crimson Bears. Followed two seats down is the Union Boat Club, almost even with lane four, the Marin Rowing Association. And then it's the Lions Rowing Club, followed closely by San Diego Rowing Club. Crews handling the slide chop very well as they power up the course to, to the smoother water for the protection of, of the shore. As we approach 500 meters, it's almost dead even between Crimson Bears and the Marin Rowing Association. Both those are length up on Union Boat Club. And then it's San Diego Rowing Club, the Lions Rowing Club, bringing up the pack. So as we move into the second 500 meters of this race, the men's Masters A final, it's the, it's the Marine Rowing Association in lane four who have the advantage of their Northern California rivals, the Crimson Bears, in lane one. Don't be confused by the blade colors in this race, uh, quite apart from the fact there's the San Diego Rowing Club boat in it. I can see at least one other crew using San Diego Rowing Club oars. So that's why you're seeing a multiplicity of those white and red striped oars. But at the moment it's the Marine Rowing Association who have taken a almost clear water lead over the Crimson Bears. Trailing at this stage are Union Boat Club and Lions. San Diego Road Club in the mix there somewhere. We're in, still being tracked by the Crimson Bears. They look like they're about to establish some clear water on the Crimson Bears, but Crimson Bears in lane one have fought back and they're edging back on Marin. past the thousand and they're edging into that area of the course in the third 500 where with this westerly wind the weather's coming at you from your port side it can be very disconcerting it whistles through that Ingram Street bridge and onto the third 500 still Marin and Crimson Bears Marin just can't shake Crimson Bears off. They have, they've been sitting there with not quite clear water for quite some time, at least 500 meters if not longer.
can now look as though moving past the 500 meter mark, they might be able to achieve that goal. Seeing almost clear water between the two crews. Although depending on who's put their blade in the water last, sometimes crimson bears have some overlap, sometimes they don't. This is going to be a very tight finish. Advantage Marin at this point. Crimson Bears giving them a real race. In turn being pressed hard by Union Boat Club. With San Diego Rowing Club. And Lions involved between themselves at the back of the field. Marin coming through. 200 meters to go. Crimson Bear still coming on strong, still got that overlap. If they're uh, trying to catch Marin napping, uh, Crimson Bear's coming home with a huge charge. Marin hit the last boy line in front and it may just be just too short of a course for Crimson Bears to come over the top of Marin. First Marin, second Crimson Bears. Third Lake Union. Fourth San Diego. And in fifth position, Lions from Marina Del Rey in Los Angeles. On the replay, we can see Marin getting there. About half, maybe two thirds of a length over Crimson Bears who put up a fast and furious finish just didn't quite come over the top of them. Sharp Memorial Hospital would like to thank you for attending the 2011 San Diego Crew Classic. To learn more about Sharp's programs and services, call 1-800-82-SHARP or visit sharp.org.